Hello everyone and welcome back to Codevis, your number one channel for learning everything about tech skills. So in our last class we touched CSS parallax, but in this class we're going to touch CSS media queries. However, before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be updated whenever we post a new video about our web development courses. Also, please don't forget to follow us on our social media pages so you can get updated with our tech trends and articles to help you carry on your tech journey. So without further ado, let's dive right into, the top, right into the topic of CSS media queries. So, like I said in our last class, what we did was CSS parallax and we achieved this amazing effect here whereby as you're scrolling down, the wallpaper changes. But this is aside the topic of today. What we are going to touch is CSS media query. So let's get it started. Alright, for the CSS media query, I would like us to create a new page. We are going to create a new page and design a very simple web page. Nothing too complex, we've done it before. Then we are going to apply CSS media query to it. Now, the CSS media query is used to apply a form of responsiveness to your website. And the way it works is simple. You simply say, at what it does is it targets your web page at a certain screen size. All right, that's what it does. It targets your web page at a, at a certain screen size. And what you simply have to do is say, okay, when my web page is viewed on this screen size, let it appear like this. When the web page is viewed at this screen size, let it appear like this, and so on and so forth. It is nothing too complex. It is simply, now this is not the actual definition, but it's the, I'm simplifying it in my own definition. The work of CSS Media Queries is simply to define how a web page or a web page element looks like at certain screen sizes that is all it's as simple as that it is not too complex and when we get it to it you will see why defining that way so let's carry on now this is the code we did for css parallax but what i want us to do is we're going to create a new web page i'm going to design it from scratch nothing too complex very simple web page in fact i'm going to use grid for the entire web page you guys are going to see it you guys are going to love it so let's begin first of all we need to create a new HTML file and a new CSS file. So let's do just that. So I'm going to come to this empty page right here and I'm going to click on new file. I'm going to call it um, media.html. Then in my CSS folder, let's close the other ones. In my CSS folder here, I'm going to come and create a new file called media.css. Then as always, we're going to use the HTML boilerplate, boiler template, sorry. You guys already know about this we've touched it several times so we're going to come here now i want to also explain something you see this meta tag called this meta tag called viewport i'm sure you guys have touched it in the html however i need to understand its relevance the meta tag of viewport is highly relevant when you want to build responsive websites if this meta tag of viewport is not defined exactly like so your website's responsiveness is going to experience serious issues so make sure you put this thing what this thing simply means i will explain it again i'm sure it has been explained but i will explain again what this thing simply means is this okay now the meta tag is used to enter little little information or details about your web page that is collected by the browser and the server so when you say name viewport that means okay which device this web which device my web page is being viewed from so we are saying let the width of my website here in this explanation of content we said let the width of my website be equal to the width of the device and let the initial scale be 1.0 that's let not be zoomed in and let's not be zoomed out let it just appear normal that is what this thing simply means here it is nothing too complex all right let the width of my of my web page or of my website be equal to the width of the device that is being used to view the website and let the initial scale be 1.0 that means let's not be zoomed out or let's not be zoomed in let it just appear normal fitted to the screen perfectly so i'm going to change this document title here to css media query All right, I'm going to add one last meta tag because I don't feel I don't feel my web page is complete without it. So I'm going to say meta uh, HTTP equivalent x dash ua dash compatible content is equals to ie dash equals to edge, and with this we are done. Oh, let's not forget to link it up. So we say link. Um, SRC href I said SRC pardon me href 
equals to css slash media dot css and we'll come here and say type text slash css and relationship that's well style sheet we've touched all this earlier in css so please if you don't know what all this this what this means you can go back to our previous video to consult it so that you can get so you can get updated let's carry on now let's go down to our body now this is our body tag i'm going to make this body tag a, you know a grid itself so i'm going to give it this yes i'm going to give it a class of let us see nothing too complex let's give it the class of web body web dash body and then my web body tag i'm going to first create a div tag so i'll say div dot banner greater than dot welcome yes div dot banner greater that means create a sec create a class called banner create a section give it a class called banner then create a subclass inside it called welcome see what i mean very easy nothing too complex there now in this subclass i'm going to create a h2 tag i'm going to give the h2 tag welcome to now i'm going to create a spam tag here i say code i'm going to give the class of a class of l logo l underscore logo that's for left logo and another spam tag the class of our logo sorry i'm going to give it what this so basically what i'm just doing is saying welcome to code this let's view this in the live server and this is what it looks like so welcome to code this but this code and this vase are in two different sections entirely but you see what i'm getting at when we're done okay i am done with this so after the banner section we're going to create another section before i create a new section let's come down here i'm going to create a header i'm not going to give the class i'm just going to create, create the header and in this header i'm going to insert our code this logo so inside i'm just going to create the image tag i'll say img src is equals to dot dot slash which means go back by one folder sorry not sorry when the html file we don't need to do that i'll say um dot dot slash css slash i say not css sorry images slash code this logo dot png i'll give it an alt text to define what it is i'll say code this underscore logo i'll give it a width and a height a width is width should be uh let's see um 200 pixels i'm just guessing guessing here and a height of 150 pixels we might still need to edit this later on i am just guessing here but like i said we're going to do a very basic site nothing too complex so now that i've done this too the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the nav section but it's not going to be inside the banner we're going to create the nav tag i'll say nav dot nav class nav bar uh greater than ul greater than li li times four greater than a times four thank you very much that is dope that is dope so in this a tag i'm going to put a hash after the oh sorry 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 four li times four greater than a times four yeah that's it okay sorry not a times four just a oh sorry ah perfect so i'm going to put a hashtag here i'm going to say home another hashtag about another hashtag i'm going to say um services and the last hashtag i'll put contact contact us We've done something like this before again nothing too complex don't fret come back here check out how everything looks like exactly it's going to look rough like this don't fret don't you know we're still building the site so let's carry on and now that we're done with the navigation bar now you can see i put my navigation bar after my what my welcome banner after my banner 
But again, you can design your website however you want. You can put your navigation bar before or after your banner or even at the side of your banner. It is up to you. The beautiful thing about building your website is like you, is that you can build it in whichever way you want. Okay? So, moving on. Now that I've done with the banner, let's now create a div section, a general div section. We say dot web content. I better use web body up here. So web content uh, greater than dot web text and sorry web text dot web images img. That's not what I wanted. So in, those, in this dust web text, nothing too complex, like I said before, we're just going to create the h3 tag. I'll say love m3 as a heading. And we're going to create a p tag. I'm going to say love m100. Like I said, not too complex. Normally, I should have done this and just showed you all this, but I wanted us to go through everything step by step. So you will see how the site is being built. And you can see that I didn't do any extra touches or extra editing that you guys don't know about so that is why i'm doing it this way so you can see exactly what i'm doing and follow through with me so we have the web content and the next one is dot web img so here's what img i'm going to use um ul greater than li times two two or three 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 three let's go there so inside this each of this uh, i'm going to create an image tag i'm going to give it this slc equals to blank for now alt i'm going to give it um uh image i'm not going to give it anything to complex width and height width should be equals to 40 percent height should be equals to auto So I'm going to copy this. Okay. Oh, yeah, F4. So I'm going to copy this and just paste it. Oh, we only need three. Yeah, three is okay. That's what I said. That. Three. All right. And with this, we are done. All that is left is to create a footer for our web page. We have the div content for web body. Let's just come down here and create a footer. So I'll see the uh, footer. The, sorry. 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 Uh, footer the page end and I'll put a copyright sign and I'll say um, and copy could this PS uh, LTD copyright of code feed LTD 2024 because that is the month we are in that is all we need to do so you can see that we have a very simple web page here. Nothing too complex, nothing too big like that. And if I come back to our web page, this is what we should get. Well, hold on, what's going on with my LI? Okay, good. This is what we're going to get. Now, the image is showing like this because we've not actually inserted any image yet. We are going to do that. So let's carry on. So in my web banner, did I insert an image? No, I didn't put an image in the web banner. So I'm going to come down here and say dot um um dot banner no nope, no need for dots just um img src is equals to blank alt banner img width 100 percent height auto And let's carry on <coughs> so this is what we should be seeing here exactly now this doesn't look like much but as you already know once you apply CSS to your website it looks amazing but if I carry on let's go to sites let's go to another site let me go to freepick.com now if you don't know this site this site can give you a lot of free materials you can use when designing your website not just for designing the website for graphic design for ui designs it gives you a lot of free stuff there's free pick there's png tree there are several you can use so you know play around with it so i'm going to come up here and search for uh free i'm going to say um 3d web banner of a programmer 
let's search for that i don't know if it will give me what i want but let's see uh come on come on not what i want not exactly what i want not, not exactly what i want i don't want any text i love this but this is not what i want either i don't want any text there wow jesus is a programmer who knew all right let's carry on i'm gonna take this guy i don't know if this guy is actually okay but i'm just gonna take him we're playing around with it uh, should i first look for something else there's this black guy here but it doesn't have as much features as this guy right here you know he has the whole icons and everything uh let's see let's see this one is actually pretty dope but it's not free and i can't copy the image link let's see copy image link come down here and paste it right here and let's see if it works if it doesn't work oh wow it works dope so we're using this then i can see exactly where i got it from so let's carry on i like that let's get the images for these other two places right here these three icons here so I'm going to come down back to freepick.com. Now you can use Google, you can use freepick, you can use PNG, you can go to whichever site works for you best. I'm just using freepick because I know them and I trust them. So I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put gameplay wallpaper. Yeah, we take his love games. Okay. Oh, I love this. I love this. Show me more. I don't want this one, it has a text on it, but I'll come back to you. Yes. Now everyone knows when you, I, I won't lie to you, I prefer gaming on. I prefer using a keyboard to game than a pad. But it depends on the game. If it's a Call of Duty game, keyboard and mouse. If it's an adventure game like Dark Souls, eh, pad. So let's go with this guy first. We're gonna come up here, we're gonna take this lovely guy. Again, I'm just gonna copy the image link. I'm not going to bother downloading nothing. Paste the first one here. Come down to the second guy. Let's give him a link as well. This guy even got on the 3D glasses. Dope. Hey, that's a normal joystick. Wow, that's whack. Come back here. Paste. And last but not least, let me put a space between each LI tag so you'll be able to see clearly. Let's not get things mixed up. Let me organize my code properly, sorry. So that we don't get things mixed up. So you can see the individual LI tags now. So let's do the third one and call it a day. Sorry, I made a mistake. Perfect. And we'll come back here. We'll scroll down to the one that has the keyboards. Yeah, we already, I already saw this one, but I said no. Uh, yes, it is you. You are the one that was chosen for this quest. Okay, let's get this last guy. Copy image link. And let us paste him right here. And now we should have all their pictures in our web page. Good. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. Now let's apply CSS to this. Now we're going to be doing everything from the scratch, which means that this video is actually going to be kind of long. So let's just arrange everything. So we'll start with our universal selector. I will say margin zero pixels. So just zero padding. Zero. And as you know, I like using my favorite font family. Like I said, this is my favorite. Use yours if you have yours. Tahuma. Alright, let's see how that looks like right now boom and we are not still done let us style up the header first so i'm going to come right in here let's see header is the first guy right header oh header yes the header so i'm going to come here and say oh sorry dot sorry um header tag i don't need to put dot web dash body dot web body I forgot about this guy web body now for this our web body we're going to give this guy 
web body we're going to give him display we're not going to touch display display as a grid yes display as a grid then we'll say grid column grid template rules so how many rules are we going to get we're going to have the header the banner the navigation bar those are three rules and then the web body is going to be it's two one okay so that's the header is one row the banner is one row the nav bar is one row the nav you know what fuck it i'm not giving it grid anymore nah let's see okay you know what we're not giving it grid anymore we're just going to come here and see width of this web page should be 100 vw and the height should be auto although we don't need to do this now i'm going to say background image and this is why i'm putting the background image there i'm going to say url url can't believe i forgot how to make a mistake with the background image for a second there all right i'm going to get one more image from our free pick here i need an image that's I need an image like you. Yes. All right, show up, show up, come on. Copy you. And paste you here. Oh, wow. I made a mistake. Copy image link. Paste it here. Then I'm going to give you background size cover. We're not going to do a parallax effect, so don't worry about it. So this should give us exactly, yes, 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 yes. But it's too big. Interesting. Make here hundred percent. Not 100 VW, 100 percent, and let's see what happens. Oh, I see. All right, let's change this cover to contain. Oh, would you look at that? All right, let's see what auto will do. I know I already know the answer to this, and it's not gonna work out well, so let's see auto. And what do you know? Just like I thought. So we're gonna say cover. We're gonna say background position center, and uh, that is all. Like I said, we're not doing the parallax effect. We're just doing the normal background. All right, let us begin. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this header tag right here. And remember I did the header tag before the act before the banner tag. So I'm gonna say header. I didn't give it any class whatsoever. You can see here, right? So we're gonna say header should be width 100 percent height should be 120 pixels. Which means that I might have to come back here and alter the width and height of this image here. Yes, I know. So we're going to go with text align. Center. Then I'm going to go with background. And my background, I'm going to make it linear. No, 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 that's too much. That's too much. Let's just make the background white. I want color hashtag triple F. And let's see how it looks like. Boom! This is our header right here. But we need to reduce the size of this image. So we're going to come to our media.html. Now, we can actually target it in the CSS here, but long journey. So just come here. The height is supposed to be 120. So I'm going to make the width here 180. Um, 200 my okay, 170. Boom, and we have our code vs ready for us to use right here. So let's take care of the banner as well. The banner size is actually pretty much okay as far as I'm concerned. What we need to do is we need to bother ourselves with the text of the banner. 
so for that to happen what i'm going to do i'm going to say dot banner dot welcome position of the banner welcome should be absolute and if i do this the text should come in this text will come i want this text here to come up here so absolute i'm going to say top be away from the top by 120 pixels let's check you out boom look at the guy right here can you see it guys come up right here but that is not all i'm gonna come back i'm gonna say be away from the top not by 120 pixels but by 20 percent let's test that out uh still to no, 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 no. 20% no 50 that's too much oh that's actually perfect so I'm going to see left should be 120 pixels margin okay no you know what let's come here and see margin top and bottom should be Top and bottom should be um, 60 pixels. Left and right should be auto. That should be okay for me. Exactly. That that is nice. That is very nice. But we're not done. I'm going to say okay. Move it by the left. Move it away from the left by 50 pixels. Let's give it that. So it moves away from the left. All right. Now we have this, but we're not done. We're going to do welcome to code base. So we're going to say. We're going to target this h2 tag and this span tag individually right here so h2 tag the span tag we have to you know target them individually so i'm going to do uh you know before this logo before this span tag put a br tag here let's put a br tag before this span tag yes yeah. to bring the code base down that is okay I don't know if we need to do anything here yet, but if need be, we might do something. So let's target the H2 tag that says welcome to. So I'm going to say, come here, come down, dot banner, dot welcome, dot H2. I'm going to say font size should be 64 pixels. No, 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 no. 32 pixels. like 32 pixels is too small fine we'll make it 42 pixels 42 is h2 i use correct yes h2 so we're going to make it 42 pixels pardon me i said dot h2 h2 ah oh, silly mistake so let's make you 32 pixels like you originally were let's margin top let's make it 20 pixels all right good then i'm going to say color should be hashtag triple f for white now everything we turn white as first but we're not done remember we still need to style up this code base individually so i'm going to come down here that's um r logo and l logo that is l logo and r logo so let's carry on i'm going to see dot l logo should be underscore right let me confirm yes underscore not dash pardon me l logo i'm going to give it color now let's go get our um now let's go get our image our color from our logo color now let us see let us say you want to use the colors that is inside a particular logo or a client or you particularly want to use a particular color but you don't know how to you don't know what the name of this color is all you have to do is pretty simple again nothing too complex just go to google.com we all know google.com right let it load then you search for image color picker i think i believe i've done something like this before with you guys I think I've done something like this with you, for with you guys. Just click on anyone; it works for free. Then upload the image. 
you want to use so let's take this code base here and you know drop it where it needs to be see it so now to do is put my color click here to get the color and it says this is the color code right here the hex color code copy this come back here and say banner welcome l logo should be this color it's not hard and the font size of l logo should be if this is 32 let's make it um, 48 pixels then we'll say the l underscore logo we can copy the exact same thing here paste we're just going to change this little guy called color here and i'm going to get the orange color from you and this is the hex code of the orange color paste and with that we should have oh sorry pardon me wonderful this is our welcome to code vase logo right here looking dope looking real dope but it's way too small let's make it bigger so i'm going to come here i'm going to make it 42 pixels and i'm going to make you not 48 but 72 would that be too big nope it's perfect <clears throat> but this image is not this text is not you know entirely clear so let's sort that out we're going to come here to this background image that is here i'm going to give it background background color i'm going to see sorry not this color here sorry pardon me i'm going to go to banner here Nah, F it. Come here. Text outline. Sorry, that was wrong of me. What we're going to do is going to see text, not outline, text stroke. So you're going to see this WebKit text stroke. That's all you need to do. I'm going to see two pixels. Color should be hashtag triple F. Hashtag <clears throat> triple F. Copy this guy. Let's make this two pixels one point. 0.5 no sorry 1.2 come back here uh perfect then we're going to come down to this guy paste the same good now i could this logo we definitely show without it without a hitch now that we're done with the banner let's move on to let's 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 take care of the top come here from this top we're going to give it 50 40 percent and you know that's that's way better that's way better so let's take care of the navigation bar as the next thing so i'm gonna comment here i'm gonna you know i'm first gonna put a comment here that says um, um page banner now i'm gonna put another comment here that says page navigation i don't know i'm just doing something simple here let's just go for something you know okay so you know we have the nav bar already so we're going to give it the same the nav bar width 100 percent height i'm going to give it auto because i'm lazy now say the nav bar navbar ul li display inline block we've done inline block before please consult our previous video so you can learn more about inline block but we've done it before 
Ah, perfecto. So now let's start up the text. I say the padding between each li should be top and bottom 18 pixels, left and right 40 pixels. We want it to be as far apart from each other as we can. Yes. And come here to nav bar. Uh, let's make it text align center. Okay. Come here to the nav bar generally and say text align center. Ah, perfect. So let's let's okay. Let's leave this guy right here. Then I'm going to come down and say the nav bar U L L I A text decoration is none. Font size we're going to say 24 pixels. Color should be our very own code this color. That is this guy right here. Because I'm feeling good. Let's see how I look like. Okay, one last thing we need to do. Come to this nav bar and give it a background color of white. look at that our site is coming together the site is coming together but again we're not done we need to style up the body right here we are almost done so let's just let's finish up a bit so let's carry on so we are done with the nav bar here so let's see page body or page content that's why i call it in the, in the html so i called it what here web content web text that's one has the history and the pink and the web images so let us see web content web content we are going to give you width it's not going to be the full width of the page so let's just see width of the web content will be 90 percent height as always auto i'm a lazy person margin auto Let's start with that. Let's see how it looks like. Great. It has entered the center. Now let's start with the text. So I'm going to say padding. So we're going to do the web content. So let's go and start up the web text history. So I'm going to come here. web text I'm going to give it the width of 80% height of auto as well margin of auto as well okay no we don't need to give you margin just text align center to make all the text come to the center but that's not the point remove this width Perfect. But that's not we don't need to worry about that. What we need to give it is margin top. Margin oh uh, yeah, I'm not showing the position. So margin top should be 120 pixels. Mm, the gap a bit too much. Now let's leave it for now. Now we'll see the web dash text h3 font size should be 32 pixels color should be I don't know or could this color and well, that's pretty good come up here to this 120 make it 80 huh. okay then I'm going to give it a um, margin and padding padding top and bottom 16 pixels left and right 18 pixels yes we have the gap we need now let's start up the text which is a pizza okay. 
let's start with the pizza we say dot web dash text p font size 18 pixels color should be the same 3d 002 6f line height the line height should be the font size is 18 pixels so let's make the highlight 24 pixels that should give us something nice yes let's make this text a bit darker let's make it a bit darker come back here make the darkness a bit yes now let's know about this now this background image let's take care of the background image here let's take care of that background image we're gonna come right here to web body we're gonna use background color should be hashtag fff let's reduce the opacity a little then we're going to see background blend mode and overlay yes now we're getting somewhere now we are getting somewhere what we need to do is take care of this guys next this ul tag that is here so let's take care of the ul tag shall we okay guys we're almost there just a little more and we are done well i didn't give this text a hover effect let's give it the hover effect let's come here so nav ul lia let's give it a hover effect so let's say dot nav bar ul lia hover when we hover on top of it let the color change so we just say color should change to the orange because you know just because i don't have, I have no, no reason boom and when we hover yes it changes color to orange we are almost done designing the web page so the next thing we're going to do is less this yeah this part this is what we're supposed to do next so let's go to the web page p okay you know not web let's go to the web text generally i'll say margin bottom you see me 80 pixels at the top thank you very much for shifting for us so for the div web img i'm going to say dot web images img width of it should be 60 percent height auto i don't want to stress myself and again margin auto then we'll say dot web img ulli display inline block let's see how it looks like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. inline block what did i miss web img ulli yeah I'm missing something. Let's see. I'm missing something. Uh, list style none. Copy this guy. I didn't put it in the first one for the nav bar. So let's go to the nav bar and add it there. Come back here. Let's make this sixty percent, seventy percent. Let's see if that's what I missed. Nope, that's not what I missed. Make it sixty percent again. Okay, that's what I want. Oh, the wheat. Yes, the wheat is what is bothering you. So let's reduce this wheat from forty percent to three hundred pixels each. I'm going to just go to copy this entire you know property here. I don't want to stress myself. Paste you here. Paste you here. Save. Check it again. And oh. Last guy didn't make it, so let's do you two 
250 by 250 by 250. Let's see that will do it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's put a little pad in between the top, between all three of them. We're going to say LI here. I'm going to say padding, zero pixels top and bottom. Left and right should be 40 pixels. And let's see what happens. Yes, I need you go down. Come back here. Let's make you 20 pixels. Okay. A little tough. 6, 12. Let's increase this guy from 60 to 70. Yeah, I thought so. Then we're going to make these guys here 300, 300, 300. Almost. Come back here 280. 280 280 all right now we have this lovely stuff here all that is left is the footer again not going to do much the footer is just has the footer has a class of page and so i'm just going to come down here and say footer page footer i'm going to say dot page end width should be 100 percent height should be 300 uh, no, no, no. Uh, 180 pixels yes padding should be um 24 pixels top and bottom 24 pixels all around then text align should be center and background color should be our very own orange right here in the shallow yes ah that is a lot that is a lot we can't have you doing that no 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 remove this padding uh left and right see left and right zero pixels yes now move the excess pixel it's too much so we're going to say 180 let's make you 120 as well uh, too much still let's 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 see what we can do uh, make you 60 uh, that's better so we'll say font size the same 24 pixels color should be white now let's make this orange color darker Yes, and we have this, but I don't like it. Let's reduce the 60 to 40. Let's see how it looks splendid. So, this is our little web page over here. Nothing too spectacular, nothing too fancy, just something we can easily work with. All right, now, like I said, the reason why I built it from the scratch was so that you can see the process I use in building it. So you don't have to stress yourself with the audio. Okay, what did you do here? What did I do wrong? You can follow me all through the building of the website now sorry i said website web page now it is time to apply media query now like i said what the media query does is that it allows the it allows the web page to rearrange itself depending on the screen size now let me show you what it means if you should go to any web page whether yours or anyone else's and you right click on the web page you will see this thing called inspect it might be inspect it might be inspect element depending on the browser you are using click on it it will open up the developers tools here that you can use to you know work on the site now as you notice this one immediately came down the moment that started shrinking you can see it here clearly right now if i start shrinking my screen size you will notice up here to be showing me the pixel width look at it let's carry on now naturally the site is a bit responsive but it's not because of my set i've not done anything to make it responsive yet the reason why the site is slightly responsive is because of this guy right here in our header let me use here to show you this guy here this meta viewport okay that's why it is slightly responsive but it's not done now as you can see as i am shrinking the site 
the pages scatter about you can see it, it scatters it's not in line my text comes out of my banner mm. this one is you know all over the place it's not centralized i need to make this work that is where css media query comes in now as i'm increasing and decreasing my screen size for maybe mobile view or tablet view or laptop view it is going to adjust my web page to fit that screen and i'm going to be the one to make it adjust all right i'm going to be the one that has to make it adjust also please do remember the reason why we media query exists is because we have a very important design principles when it comes to web development or web design mobile friendly first when you're building a website you must make sure you must ensure it's in fact it is critical that you make sure that your website opens on mobile devices first that it must be able it must be able to be opened on a mobile device and work well on a mobile device then you now have to adjust it for desktop use but mobile friendly first please don't forget that rule so let us apply media queries to this our website right here right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to, I'm going to target and let's see how the thing is scattering this part is pretty okay but i want this thing to be smaller i want it to be smaller now you don't actually need to be shrinking your web page up and down like this no you don't need to be doing this if you want to see how your web page looks like on phone when you open this developer tab here what you have to do is you will come up here you see this icon toggle device emulation it might be a slightly different here on, but you should, it might be slightly different depending on the depending on the browser you're using but you should see an icon that allows you to toggle whether your website your web page should be displayed for phone or for screen so let's click here and you can see it has automatically showed me how my website looks on screen the current screen is samsung galaxy s20 ultra you can go to iphone 12 pro max or 14 pro max any one of your choice i'm going to use this samsung galaxy x8 ultra and this is how my web page looks like can you see that my banner is not even touching the edge we need to take care of all these things that is where media query comes in so let's get it done let us get it done are you with me all right if you want me comment down below that you're with us and let's carry on so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to target it one by one i'm going to come here and let's see applying media queries so to apply media query just like the keyframes all you have to do is say at media but not media query just at media followed by screen followed by and media screen and that means which screen are we using to view it and what is the size of the screen so let us say then to put the size of the screen you will now have to put brackets then i'll say max width it can be max width or minimum width but i'll say max width should be equals to when it's at 700 pixels then we put our coily braces now like i said the way media query works is that it targets your web pages when it is displayed on certain screen sizes that means when the, when the web page is displayed on a certain screen the web the website so your html elements will now change their style to fit into that screen all right let me say for example let's do something let's do something for example let us say this text right here you see this text they are displayed purple right now let us see I will target those texts and the text is what nav u l l i a right so i'll say nav nav bar sorry dot nav bar u l l i a open the curly braces here then i'll say color of my text should be red red if i come back to the browser this text will not turn red not yet no but not until the width of my screen size reaches 700 pixels what does that mean it means if i start shrinking this take note pay attention to this part up here if i shrink this thing down to 700 pixels almost there we are 756 730 boom that's it the moment it goes below the moment my screen size touches 700 pixels or below this thing turn changes from what from purple to red my nav bar text that is what screen that is what media query is about it is nothing too complex so all you have to now do as a developer or as a designer is make adjustment to your web page when it's when it is displayed on these separate screen sizes if you are not sure 
about the screen size no need to panic just come to this icon here the device emulator click here and view it this screen size the width is what uh so look at the width up here 360 okay so i can say <clears throat> when the web page is at 360 make it go red 360 come back here it will still be red but we are not done okay we are not done let us remove this device emulator and let us shrink this now let us wait till it gets to 700 here it has got to 700 is it red no it's until i shrink it and it reaches 360 that's when it's going to turn red that is media query here apply this change to my website when it is on this certain screen size summary of it not the actual definition but the summary of it if you want to know the actual definition you can head on to w3schools.com a free code camp head on there search for media queries to show you everything and explain more for it for you but in summary this is what media query does again nothing too complex all right so i'm going to click on my device emulator here i'm going to view this i want to view it like this i want to see how my web page looks like on the screen as you can see this text here is too big we have to make sure this text is smaller so that this banner can reach here we have to make sure that our our navigation tag still stays in line so you can see all the things we need to do here so let us get it done let us get it done let's target everything one by one so i'm going to say i'm going to come back here remove this so let us start with the web banner with this header here we made the width 100 percent and the height 120 pixels we're going to reduce that we are going to reduce that guy so we're going to come here you know what let's see do we need to reduce it do we need to reduce it nah we don't need to we don't need to uh let's see okay yeah we do so let's go we start with this header here so i'm going to come into my media query here remember just like keyframes you create this you know call you create you type in your condition type the quality basis and then you start entering the changes you want to make so i'm going to start with header i'm going to say let the width still remain 100 pixels however the height will no longer be auto the height should not be 120 pixels anymore the height should be 60 pixels come back here boom it has reduced but the image has not reduced what do we do no need to panic just come here and say header img height the width of the image reduced from what to what let us see the original width here for the header is and i quote 170 by 120 good I'm gonna make you width should be 100. It's 170, 120. That's a gap. That's a difference of 50. Okay, good. So we're gonna say 100 pixels and height should be 50 pixels. And let's check it out. And it has entered. But let's come back here and make sure the text is still aligned. Text align is still centered. And this image is not fine at all so we need to reduce the width so let's come here and say this thing should not be 100 but 70 not 780 calm down ah this is much better you can see that when our web pages when our web page reaches this screen size this image is going to shake next thing we are going to touch is this our banner text that is here you can see how small it looks how big it is too big for the screen as well as this our nav bar text so let us make this our banner text the welcome text smaller so to do that we're going to do what we're going to touch this banner here banner the welcome then banner the welcome h2 and left and right logo okay so we're going to say yes now we're going to change this position from absolute to something else i'm going to remove this top that is here so let's carry on so we're going to say the banner the welcome position should no longer be absolute but relative and the top should no longer be 40 percent but you know 10 percent i should not just make it zero now let's do 10 percent and see how it looks like all 
right that is good it has come down you can see it right here like it has come inside here now it is now under the banner image not scattering with the nav bar it's not tackling space it's not you know fighting for space with this our in our nav bar right here so let's make this text smaller so i'm going to come down the banner the welcome h2 So the dot banner the welcome h2 let's check it out we said banner the welcome h2 is font size should be 42 pixels but it's a bit too much so we're going to say font size should be 24. twenty four pixels let's check it out boom but this guy is being stubborn why does he have to be stubborn all right, let's make adjustments to this guy right here. Let's make adjustments. We can actually change the color if we want to, but one thing at a time first. So we're going to target the B out tag. Now I want it not only for it to be here, I want all this text to be in one line. And the reason why they are not in one line is simply because of the B out tag I put right here in the what the banner. This B out tag. Yeah, so let's take it out. So we're going to say the banner, the welcome. BR display none none come back here make it from 20 to 18 pixels then we're gonna say dot um dot L logo comma dot L logo we're not changing the color just the font size so we'll say font size should be the same you know 18 pixels let it be the same as the rest then outline no sorry text stroke should be 0 0.5 pixels hashtag fff and let's check it out and would you look at that they are right here but you guys won't be able to see it well so let's do something that'll make you guys see it well i'm gonna come right to this guy i'm gonna come here banner welcome no 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 not banner welcome the banner background we're going to put our little color 3d this guy no 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 we can't do that no no just make it white no no not white leave the color leave the color sorry leave the color instead come here and change this background h2 color to hashtag you and let's see how it looks like boom too much come back here three you and the last thing we're going to do is come here and say text align center Oof, you're not in the center why are you not in the center that is not what i wanted at all something is off Come here, this text joke. Let's give it none. Oh no, that's not right. So move the text joke entirely. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's still there. Okay, so we're gonna say text stroke. I'm gonna say zero pixels. FFF. Good. Now this text is not in the center, but why are you not in the center? And I know why it is not in the center. It is because of these guys we put here. The margin, the margin, the left. Look at it. No, not, that's welcome. Yes, this left. We need to take out this left that is here. We need to take out this left. We need to reduce it. The left. Let us reduce the left. So let's come down here and reduce the left. So I'll see left. That should be in banner welcome right yes see left you said 40 pixels before let's see eight pixels now let's look at how it looks like would you look at that beautiful beautiful so the next thing we're going to style up is our nav bar this text to me looks pretty okay but we're going to increase the gap between it and the edge then we're going to take care of these pictures that are here so let's carry on all right so this is beautiful let's take care of the navigation bar we're going to see 
it's going to be nav bar ul li a we're going to use that to take care of the text and then we're going to use this ul li to take care of the font size and the display block and the way it's displayed so we're going to come down here still inside our media query argument here come down here let's say dot nav bar ul ul li we're going to say padding right okay we did the padding where in the ULLI okay good so padding top and bottom let's make it six pixels left and right should be 12 pixels then what else are we going to change display block and um Let's come down here. The nav bar ULLIA font size should no longer be 24 pixels but you know 16 pixels. Come back here. Let's take a look at how it looks like. Boom! This is our nav bar right now. You can see it looking sharp, right? Yeah, looking sharp. We can make it go one sided by simply removing the text and line center, but I'm not going to do that right now. Let's reduce the size of this text in the words in the body. So, to reduce the size of the text, let us do this. Uh, it is web contents, not web contents. We're going to target the web. Okay, the web text history and the web text P. Yes, web text history and web text P. So we'll come down here. Dot web dash text h3 font size should be 18 pixels dot web text p font size um, 16 pixels let's check it out boom we are almost done last stretch Oh, we need to touch the web text. Is it the web text? We put that in on the web content. The web text. We need to touch this margin top in the web text. So let's go and take care of that here. I'm going to see the web text. Margin top. For a pixels. So let's go and take a look at how it looks like. Okay. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We are almost done, nothing too complex, nothing too serious. What we just have to do now is touch these images. Now, as you can see, these images are not centralized to the page, even though they came down. You might think it's responsive, but it's actually not. No, it is not. We need to manipulate it still. So let us manipulate it still. <laughs> so let's go and target the images. The images are located where in our web IMG. The width is 70 percent height and width height and margin is auto auto that is okay so we're going to touch this width then we're going to touch this display so let's carry on so we're going to say the web img i don't know who you are good the web img we're going to say the width of the web, I, web img should no longer be 70 percent but 100 percent 100 no 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 95 percent come and take a look at it yes the adjustment has beginning to take effect but no hmm 100 now nah, 100 doesn't work either so let's come here and say not 95 98 no no not 98 90 yes divide the space equally wonderful we still need to touch this text, these images that are here. So let's come and you know touch the images. We're gonna say the web image img ULLI. We're gonna give it display block and padding. The padding top left and top and bottom should now be 12 pixels, left and right should be zero pixels. What we did before was we said here. Now the padding should be top and bottom 0 pixels, left and right 12 pixels. Now we are reversing it. Now the top and bottom should be 12, left and right should be 0. And come back here and boom. Top and bottom is 12, left and right is 0. Let us come back and touch the image. The image is there. 
we gave it a width of 280 pixels let's make these pixels here 100 percent instead just 100 percent let's see how it looks like when we are done and 100 percent come back here what whoa, 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 what did i do wrong in the last one 100 percent 100 percent yeah they're all 100 percent right so why is the last one acting up ah thank you good beautiful this is how our page looks like on phone let's reduce the size the font size of our footer we're going to come here and say dot page end font size should be 16 pixels as well and with that we are done so you can see how we took our web page from this sorry let's change this we took our web page from this look at it look at it look at it to this that is css oh that is wrong you are wrong and i think i know why come back here change it back to 280 280 pixels copy you paste you paste and paste save come back here you're going to go back to your original state good we're going to come in here we're going to target the images itself and we're going to see the web img ul li img width should be 100 percent i come back to our browser then right click inspect and yeah that's exactly why the thing did like that i should have targeted it in the media query not in the not in the main html file so with this we are done with our css media queries you can see how exactly how it works the main thing is this all you have to do is target how your web page will look like at the starting screen now if i'm done with this screen i can come back and say okay let's come and see how it looks like on an iphone 12 pro it is scattered i will need to come and make the adjustments here as well i will come back here how does it look like on this one on this other screen size if it is scattered all you have to do is go back and make the adjustments in your css that is css media query at the same time if you don't go through all that stress no issues we got you in our next course what we are going to be touching is bootstrap we're going to be touching the css framework known as bootstrap which helps you to easily make your web page responsive without much effort whatsoever bootstrap is literally copy and paste anybody anybody else to argue with me is their own business it is literally copy and paste and you will love it so with this we are done with css media query in our next video we are going to design a fully fun a full site using html and css just the front end and after that we're going to give you guys a project if you want to get our web fundamentals certificate i advise you to complete that project we'll contact we'll give you guys a way to contact us to show us your project so we can inspect it and make sure you guys did it well so with this we are done with the video for today thank you again for watching thank you again for choosing codebase channel as your place or your platform to learn your web development skills again don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be updated whenever we post a new video also don't forget to follow us on our social media platform so you can check out our trends our articles and stay informed about what is going on in the tech community also you can join our community platform on whatsapp whereby you can ask your questions directly and we can answer you you can also access your questions in the description and we will definitely get back to you this is code Viz, and thank you for watching